hey guys welcome back in this short video I'm gonna demonstrate how to hide an Excel ribbon entirely and then we'll add some you know like um, quad uh, icons and buttons here including your custom button and then we're gonna we already seen this part but we'll learn how to disable you know like um, the options and add your you know like custom you know like um, space here okay so I'm gonna create a new workbook Please, uh, let's save this as um, you know, like episode three. Let's call this Excelism. Okay. Now I'm gonna close this and this as well. Now I'm gonna open this file, the new file, from editor. Let's insert a new. Um, custom UI part and we'll take a sample of custom tab here we'll set this to true okay and then we'll remove this because we don't have to add any tab as such okay so I'm gonna save this and close I'm going to index tree folder so if I open this file now you know like the entire ribbon is hidden Okay, and, but if you click on, you know, like this file option, then you still see all this option. Okay, now uh, close this, reopen the file. Now for the part where we added, you know, like the custom. I think custom out space. Let me just copy this. Yeah, so this is the part where we added that. So we can also take care of this in this fashion. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to red get rid of this part. Okay, so this part is for the file options. Let's see if it works. So here is your custom, okay? Now we'll add some buttons here and then we'll try to disable all this save, save as, export and all this, okay? First, before closing this, let me open this file again. Okay, and here I've saved, uh, you know, like the options. Backstage and then, so we already have a, uh, this backstage. We just need to get this. We've seen this option, you know, like in our previous video where you can disable this or you can turn the visibility off and so on okay so i'm gonna copy all this and then bring it up here and validate it okay so if you look here if you click on the file so we're saying this id okay id mso the microsoft office icon id file save so this is save file save and save as print and so on so we're saying uh, the visual uh, setting the visibility you know like properties to false okay so till here now I'm gonna close this file save this and close it now let me reopen this file so you see it has you know like uh, save all these options so you can also hide this as well the publish as well the feedback and so on okay now we'll add uh, you know like some icons here the quad menu quick access toolbar yeah uh, so reopen this so for this uh, the reference here will be this uh, documents control okay so the sample is here so if you have to use this, you have to put this under the quad tag. And then end the tag here. Put it here like this. Okay. So this is, you know, like uh, picked up from uh, Office is application itself. The ID is this, calculate now and insert hyperlink. So save this and closing this file. 
So here there are two you know like uh, buttons. Now let's insert one custom button as well. Now for this we have already um, created this button so we don't have to rewrite this. Let's copy some of these buttons. Okay, so let's say that we want to add this button. Now the size property won't be available in code. Okay, so just disable this. Or if you try to save this, it'll tell you the attribute is not declared. So just get rid of this. All right, and then this. So this is the code that is going to run. This is the label. Uh, the label is not going to be displayed anyway, but. Um, the button name uh, the code that is going to run when you click on it and then this okay that is the uh, the icon yeah so again you know like you can use this browser to assign any icon you want so for example let's say we want to insert this icon grouping for example gonna copy this and then image MSO equal to this okay so it's validated I'm gonna close this reopening the file so here's the icon that we added now I'm gonna get the callbacks there's only one code oops I'm gonna insert this callback in this e03 file okay and then let's say message box Sorry. click on this okay so it works so i think that's all for this video i'll do another example you know like uh, by going through this elements list again you can go through it and if you have any questions when you play around do comment on the video i'll try to come back here as soon as possible okay all right thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye bye